Hello, my name is Christina with Small Vans Big World. Today, I'm going to give you a van tour of this 2020 Ford Transit Connect long wheelbase. If you want to build a van with us, please visit our website at smallvansbigworld.com. From there, you will see a tab that says, let's build. Please fill out the form and then we will contact you. Now, let's get into this van tour. This van has the same layout as our previous van builds with a little twist. When you enter into the van, on your left is the fridge. What's great about this fridge is that you can adjust the temperature of the fridge or the freezer. There is a divider inside the cooler so you can set the whole cooler into a fridge, freezer, or both. Right next to the fridge, you have a storage unit for larger items. Right above the fridge, we conveniently placed the hook so that you can hang up your hat, jacket, or a towel. Next to it is a remote for the Dometic Fantastic fan that is located right here in the ceiling. On the other side is the control panel for the diesel heater that is located underneath the passenger seat. Lastly, we have an overhead storage for your lightweight items. This is a perfect space for all of the custom window covers for all of your windows. This specific window cover is made for the ceiling fan. Simply snap the buttons and it is secured in place. Roll it back up, secure it with a wrap velcro, and store it on the shelf. When you enter it in the van, on the right you have the light switch. We placed this dimmer switch so that you can immediately turn on the lights when you enter the van. Right below you have two 120 volt outlets, two USB outlets, and a 12 volt car outlet. Next to it is a meter that shows the percentage of the battery and how much solar you are using or producing. Right below is a button to turn on or off the inverter. At the very bottom, you have the switches for the heat pad that are on the water tanks and on the battery to prevent freezing or any damage in colder climates. Our clients did not want the toilet, so we opted out for additional storage bins underneath. The last cubby is a dedicated spot for our client's two-burner propane stovetop. Now, with the little twist that we have incorporated in this build is a floor-to-ceiling cabinet for the kitchen. This is a great upgrade to have if you are looking to have a microwave in your van. We went with this powder blue kitchen unit with a brushed nickel push to open hardware, securing the drawers into place so that it doesn't open while driving. We added this pop-up table to create additional surface area. This table serves an extension to your kitchen, giving additional room to watch your Netflix shows or eating your meal. When not in use, you push in the latch and close it shut, and it doubles as a door for your cabinet. Right below is a small drawer and right next to it is the powerhouse. In here is a 100 amp hour lithium battery which charges from solar, offshore hookup, or from the alternator charging. We have the 1500 watt inverter which allows you to power your typical household items such as the microwave or the tea kettle. We also have the alternator charging to keep the battery topped off while driving. All the main fuses have been labeled, making this whole electrical system user-friendly. Above the electrical cabinet is another drawer for additional storage. Then you have the pull-out table. This is great so that two people can sit in the van and eat or just have additional countertop space. As per client's request, we added a 600 watt microwave built into the cabinet. It can run off the battery or off of the offshore hookup. Right above the microwave, we have a cabinet that also has an outlet. This is a great place to charge your devices or store any other items. Right next to it is another cabinet for additional storage. To have more countertop space, we created a scratch proof and water resistant cutting board that is also a lid for the stainless steel sink. Simply remove the lid, store it next to the microwave, 
and you can go about washing your hands or filling up your tea kettle. The water is filtered and the filter is located underneath the sink to have easy access when doing maintenance. There are plenty of storage space underneath the sink for storing soap, sponge, or hand towels. On the side of the cabinet, there are four switches. The first one is for the water pump. It is easily located next to the sink. The second is for the interior lights on the tailgate. The third is the exterior lights. And lastly, is the switch for the electronic dump valve for the two and a half gallon gray water tank that is securely mounted underneath the van. Right underneath the switches, we added another hook for a place to hang your trash bag or hand towels. Located in the upper cabinet is a shower head holder on suction cups. Simply twist it onto the glass, pull out the faucet, place it in the holder, turn on the water, and voila, you have an outdoor shower. On the back door, we added lights so that you can have lighting at nighttime when sitting outside. We also added this button here so that you can open the back door while being inside of the van. Having this pull-out table to the back door is a great place to sit down and have your morning coffee. Before I show you the exterior of the van, let's get into the bed. This bed sits on two sets of 300 pound drawer slides with a locking mechanism so that it doesn't slide out while driving. Simply unlock the latches, grab your strap, and pull out and lay the mattress down gently. What is great about this bed design is that it does not require a lot of time to make your bed. Right in the corner is a night light that moves around so that you can shine it on your book as you fall asleep. It also has a USB outlet so that you can charge your phone at night. Instead of a window, we made a built-in shelf. This is a great spot for your phone, books, or laptop. To transform your bed back to couch mode, simply reverse the steps. Grab the strap, pull up, push in, unlock the drawer slides, and push in until you hear the click. As previously mentioned before, this van does have a diesel heater and the diesel fill is conveniently located next to the gas fill. Right above is the exterior lights to light up the dark campground. For this van build, we added the window on the back door rather than on the back panel. When you open up the passenger side door, there is another storage basket. Our client wanted the storage unit to have one open side for easier access, however, you can still load your things from the top as well. Right below are two gauges. Simply flip the switch to turn it on. This one is for the 14 gallon fresh water tanks that are underneath the floor. And this gauge is for the two and a half diesel tank that is securely under mounted the van. Next to the water gauge is the fill port to fill up your water tanks. On the other side of the van is the exterior lights. And down below is the offshore power hookup. We also have the window on the sliding door as well. Up on top of the roof is a 100 watt solar panel, Dometic Fantastic fan, and two crossbars so that the clients can store their kayaks or additional storage. Thank you so much for joining us on this van tour. Again, if you'd like to build your van with us, please visit our website at smallvansbigworld.com. From there, you will find the Let's Build tab. If you like this video, please give it a like and comment down below and support us by subscribing to our channel. We will see you on our next build.